Ayla and I are not allowed to go to shelters by ourselves. So we went to an animal shelter yesterday. That's like an hour and a half away because Ayla had like 30 dog beds that she wanted to donate. So the plan is, everyone's like, whoa, you adopted a dog. So the plan is to foster the dog until we find him a home because he was going to be euthanized today and he is the best boy in the world. He is a German Shepherd mix. Yeah, he was gonna be euthanized so we couldn't leave him. That was not an option. So he was ours, like yeah. we, we filed. So like we have him, like he's adopted. He's adopted, yeah, he's but ours. I really wanna give him to my dad. Yes. Because my dad is the biggest dog lover in the world and I think he would do amazing with him. But like, I don't wanna pressure him to like have a dog so Regardless, Brandy and I will keep him or some, we will make sure that this dog has the best life in the entire yeah. world. But we're just happy that we got him out of the, the shelter. shelter. And yeah. to be honest, the shelter is actually a, a good one. Like This one is a, is a pretty nice shelter. Yeah. But it is, it is like a city shelter and like dogs are being listed to be euthanized all the time. So it is really, really sad. But yeah, we are like probably the two worst people to send to a shelter by ourselves. We almost left with all of them. And if anyone is yeah. thinking of adopting, I know puppies sound great and they are great, but this is your sign to go get a dog in need. They're yeah. just sitting there so sad. Oh my God, guys, I can't wait for you to meet him. He's literally the best boy ever. We named him Doug <laughs> because he reminds us of the dog from Up. Yes, he's so cute. This is like, I don't even know. This is like the most spontaneous like vlog of all time because I was like, I just, I need to film this. I need to, are you kidding me? I need you know. to film us grabbing Doug. We, like, we literally left yesterday and we were like, we don't have anything of what just happened. Like, this is crazy. We should have like gotten some kind of yeah footage of something. I know. But we, we did get a video of, of Doug. Doug. Yeah. So, we'll show you that video. Yeah, we'll show you, but you're gonna see him now anyway. I'm just so excited. I'm honestly pretty crazy because I'm supposed to leave to Utah in like four hours, and that's like a six hour drive. So, so <laughs> yeah, I'm just driving all over America Cars today. Your best friend today. Yeah. We got a little, yeah, we're here. We made a little setup for him. Ayla's gonna go to the pet store when we get back, but we have a little bed, blankie situation for him in the back of her car. I'm nervous. Okay. It's like when I got Henry, I didn't know what to expect, but. It was the best decision I've ever made. Come in. Oh, no. Hi, Nina. No, they're coming. She, she takes herself out of this. Oh, 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 yes, okay. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. The same thing happened to us yesterday when we got here. Literally. There was, there was a loose dog and we were trying to grab. Literally yesterday. It was crazy timing. <gasps> okay, at least she's okay. Okay, guys, so we're back in the car. Without Doug. <laughs> Without Doug. Um, so the shelter didn't communicate with us that he had to get neutered. That's just by policy with like all shelters. You have like they have to neuter the dogs before you get them. And they called us, they called Ayla this morning to say that he was ready to be picked up. I think honestly we messed up. It's not their fault. They they told us to come at 2 30. We got here at 1 30. And they but did we also say they thought... brought him in last night, which I think what they meant is they brought him in yeah. so that he wouldn't eat or drink because you can't you can't like you have to be cleaned. You have to do all that before neutering. So I think we just read it wrong, and then we were hoping he'd be ready early. So I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I really thought that they did the surgery like last night, and he was like kind of like just chilling. Mm. But yeah, I mean, if he had his surgery this morning, then 100% he's not going to be ready to be picked up. They just said he's like really groggy from like the drugs and stuff. Yeah, he couldn't walk. <laughs> yeah, but they did say that he would be ready in like an hour. That he's just gonna be sleepy, which is fine because we have like the bed and the blanket in the back, and he'll be just chilling because. We have like an hour and a half to get back home anyways. So, so. we're gonna comfort him back there, make sure yeah. he's good. We're gonna get him some food while we're waiting. Yeah, we're gonna grab some food right now and then we'll be back to grab Doug. Oh, and give him so many kisses because he deserves the most. Yes. yes, and apparently the guy that helped us yesterday with Doug, we ran into him and he told us that after we left that he was like crying when he saw us leaving and I was like, <gasps> Don't tell me that. Okay guys, so we stopped at Habit to grab food. I got, I'm like basically done. I'm like, oh, maybe I should show the camera what I got. We're both done. We got Impossible Burgers, and I got sweet potato fries, and, oh, and she got regular fries. I've actually never eaten, don't think I have, I mean, maybe when I was a kid, but like, I've never had Habit. She's never had Habit, which is crazy, because Habit's like my go-to. Really, before In-N-Out? Yeah, oh, no, In-N-Out. Oh. 
Oh, well, no. Oh, are you saying like on the ranking scale? Yes. No, habits for sure first. She goes, habits are really healthy. She's like, go here. It's She's like, really there's healthy. salads and everything. I'm like, I know you're not going to get a salad. She's like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> habits like just like a healthier option they have healthier options but we still got burgers so whatever yeah we did it's fine we're too excited today today's our day oh my god what time is it 2 12. we're gonna finish up and hopefully we'll have our baby with us oh my god guys so ayla and i started talking about like when we become mothers and like have children and it's so funny because we just saw a bunch of kids like walking out of school like walking home and I was telling her, I was like, how weird is it going to be when we have kids and they're like 16, 17 years old and we're like having conversations with them and I'm like, I'm going to be a crazy mom and I'm going to be like, make sure you have your location on so I know where no, you're at Freddy's at all No, Freddie's going to like get a chip imported in them when they're born and they're not even going to know it and she's going to have a <laughs> GPS system on them the whole time. No, I was like, I want them to have their location on because I, I told Ayla, I was like, if they leave school and they're like, hey mom, I'm going to go to grab food with friends and then I don't hear from them for a while, I'll literally call the police. But I was telling her I was like the police are not gonna answer your calls anymore. They're gonna be like Miss Arietta. Um, we cannot report a missing child if it's not been 24. How long? Did, when's the last time you talked to me? You're like an hour ago. You're like it was an hour ago, and they're like once again Miss Arietta. We cannot report a missing child. Well, I also was telling Ayla, I was like, imagine like when they have kids and they're like 17, 18 years old, like in high school, and they're just like in the back and they like talk back to us. I'm gonna be like, excuse me, what did you just fucking say to me? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I wouldn't say that for it, but you know what I mean. You would not. I don't know. Maybe, probably. I feel like they're gonna hear it at school anyway. <laughs> yeah, I won't curse until they're like 18. 18? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not me. <laughs> I'll be like, shut the fuck up right now, otherwise I'm gonna drop you off on the side of the road and then you're not gonna get dinner tonight. Or if you make it home in time for dinner, cool. You better run. That's so funny. Yeah, I just like imagine like an 18 year old talking back to me and I'm gonna be like, who do you think you <laughs> are? Who? Yeah, it's just gonna be funny. We're so excited for that. Yeah. The only reason this combo came up is because we were talking about, I was talking about Henry and my mom and how my mom takes care of Henry when I'm gone and then we just started talking about kids and then that's how this conversation came about. Because tell them what you had to do when you were younger, what your mom. So when I was little, I think a lot of Hispanic house, like moms, like I think this is a very like Hispanic thing. But when I was little, my mom wouldn't let me walk on like the cold floor like any sort of like wood ceramic any sort of floor that wasn't carpeted she put socks on me because she was scared oh. i was gonna get sick so like i was not allowed like if i was barefoot she put socks on me like it was a thing it's um, like funny and cute all at the same time <laughs> so i don't know i think that's like more because my aunts all my tias were like that too with all my cousins so really yeah like we were they were very anal about us like making sure that we didn't get like sick or anything my dad always used to try to i mean my mom was kind of like that but my dad always used to be like dirt's good for them like <laughs> Feed them dirt. No, literally. I was like, afraid of dirt. He'd be like, dirt helps build up their immune system. We would always play in the dirt. We'd play outside. Like, we'd run around, like, all the time. That's crazy. When yeah. I was little, no, I hated the dirt. I hated getting dirty. My mom would take me to the playground, and I wouldn't go on because I would, in Spanish, I would, like, I was, like, a Spanglish baby, so I would say, oh. I would be, like, mommy, suso, suso, which means, what does that mean? sucio means dirty in Spanish. So I would like look at the playground and I go, mommy, suso, suso. And my mom would be like, in Spanish, she'd like, go play. And I would be like, no, suso. Oh. And I wouldn't play with the kids because I didn't want to get dirty. Cutie pie. I was a pain in the ass. I was just really high maintenance as a kid. It's okay. You still are. <laughs> Good boy, guys. I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> I'm crying right now because I'm emotional because they were gonna kill him today and we saved it. <laughs> I'm like getting so emotional because, like, he's such a good dog. He was just not doing well in there either, you know. He went through so many surgeries and it's okay. You're gonna, you're going to be in a much better place now, I promise. Oh, hi baby. I love him.